Welcome one and welcome all back again to another venture of a pipe stream. Anyway, so if you haven't already known, no, nothing I'm going to be doing today will involve the scythe. I just like to have stuff in my hand as I talk. But I guess it kind of does have something to do with what we're doing today because what's on the agenda for today is we're going to be making something, some author or a weapon from some author who was really intent on killing just about every character they had from my wife is a jerk. Uh, she was locking the car. From the author killing Ned to Rob to, and this name's probably going to give it really away, Hordor or Willis. Spoiler alert, but if you haven't watched it, you kind of deserve spoilers at this point. It's a long way away, which the name probably isn't a big spoiler. But anyway, Hordor, a.k.a. Willis. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a weapon from Game of Thrones. Well, my rendition of it, because I don't have Valerian steel to make it out of. I don't know if actually Needle was Valerian steel. Anyway, so since my wife is a short person... I figured it would be kind to, and I've always said I wanted to make her something. I'm going to be making her the sword or a rendition of the sword, Needle. So I have, as you've seen in when I was making the sword for my brother-in-law, this was already a template on it. Uh, there's no similarity to the clothes that I was wearing in that video and this video. But, so... Yeah, so it's Needle. So not only do I have the sword that I'm going to be cutting out today, I'm also going to be cutting out in two parts the guard that I want to make. And I'm going to cut it and actually try to weld so that I can actually better my welds. The welding won't be done in today's video. It'll be when I'm assembling everything and after I heat treat the blade, which I will be doing on camera. So. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Just cutting out the rough shape of them. Uh, the guard, I may end up cutting on outside of the video. Just because I don't know how well it's going to work. But we'll get there when we get there. So if you're cool with that and down with that, let's get to cutting. Still got a lot of grinding to do and clean up, but overall it's done. It's very hot. So while this cools off, I'm going to start working on the guard or the hilt, whatever you want to call it, the cross guard. So be right back. So in today's video, like I said, did the rough shape of this which turned out really good. Got the hilt made, finished grinding and everything. And I even got this piece, which was really fun to grind, which again, I did do with that off camera. So in the next video, I'm gonna grind in some bevels on this, uh, heat treat it, and actually weld this on and get this ready to slide up over it and even weld that on there after I heat treat this. So if you want to see that and enjoy this kind of content, like the video and maybe consider subscribing because I will always be back with better videos. Peace.